Hello guys, um, I'm here to show you how to save your battery for iPhone 6 or iPhone 6s or any of the iPhones because they're actually it's pretty much a universal thing but you can check the iOS it's 9.2 the latest one so let's go back even though Apple introduced this new battery saving feature which you can turn on low power mode but you can't really turn it on for uh, if your uh, charging is over 80% so you need to it's better always to do some sort of settings in your phone so that you're always uh, saving some battery even if you look at these, uh, this thing that battery usage help, it tells you which application is using more battery. You can either turn it off or like delete the app if you know, if you want to save your battery. But of course, if you love the app, you're not going to delete it. But anyways, let's get on to how to save battery. We'll go into hotspot, personal hotspot. If it's on, turn it off if you're not using it. And same with the Bluetooth, turn it off if you're not using it. And then if we can go down and then notification, we have to turn the notifications off for things that we don't use. Like uh, any apps that you're not really bothered about getting notifications, you just have to turn this top button off, allow notification, and it will go off. So any other apps that you think are not important uh, to be notified, so just turn them off. It will save a lot of battery. Right after that control center i just keep it off for lock screen because at the end of the day you don't want to like uh, get in trouble for keeping it on because when it's on anyone can assess that when your phone is locked it's locked so anyone can open it and then scroll it up and then put it on flight mode and then if you lose your phone then you won't be able to track it down because it's on flight mode and it's just gonna get impossible so I always keep it off just for the security reason and then you can go into general and uh, you can turn off Siri if you're not using it same with spotlight search turn everything off the stuff you're not using I turn like almost all of them off it's just uh, anything because I don't really do any spotlight search and then if you go to background app refresh that's the most important one there if it's on then it uses uh, or I turn the power low power mode on so background app pressure is def disabled see this is what it is Apple knows as well that app background app refresh is actually using a lot of memory uh, battery sorry so I turn this off and then go in general and then back app refresh and I've turned that off from the top so it'll turn everything off so these apps won't use any internet or Wi-Fi while I'm not using them just in the background so it's better to save battery this way and then auto lock you can change it to 30 seconds from one minute so it'll save you more battery and same with the uh, with other stuff like in accessibility you can turn this on reduction reduce motion reduce the motion of the user interface including the parallax effect of icon this takes more battery it looks cooler but it takes more battery so it's totally up to you what you want what you prefer but I keep it off and then if you come out and then display and brightness keep this off they don't want auto brightness because I just actually hate it and then you can set the brightness according to um, your own requirements then if you come out and then if you go to the privacy that's the main very important one health app you know if you go into the motion and fitness then you can turn this off tracking fitness tracking thing and then this health app won't track your footsteps so you'll be able to save more battery you won't be working in the background all the time and then location services if you go in there and then system services if you go there mostly people don't know about this they see this like loads of tracking going on apple is tracking us everywhere we're going and that's for this like share my location turn that off i actually turn every single one of them off 
because I don't want any ads or anything. I just keep this one on. I find my iPhone because you need that if you and don't want Apple to track me. Traffic all these off. Just this. Find my iPhone out. And then share my location, turn it off. You don't want to get your location shared. That's it, then come out. That will save you massive battery. And then don't send diagnostics. Advertisement, keep that off as well. And then come out. And then iCloud, you have to, I just keep uh, contacts and uh, find my iPhone on and everything else off. iTunes and App Store. Turn this updates thing automatically download new purchases including free made on other devices. Now turn that off. Uh, when this automatically updates is on, okay, it gives you an option that you can the, your apps will be updated when you're on uh, when you'll be connected to a Wi-Fi. But say, but just imagine if you're outside and your phone is running low on battery, and uh, you just like trying to save your battery, but you, then you like connected to some Wi-Fi and then some of the apps needed updating then it just starts updating them automatically so you'll be losing battery when you're not really bothered about updating your apps or at that time you're just bothered about saving your battery so it's not a good idea to keep this on you can of course like um, update your apps when you're at home and if you've got a charge it is better to do it that way and uh, then the most important one well I don't really use this and turn this off wallet and Apple Pay and then the most important one is the mail one fetch new data it's turned on pushes on I turn it off and then if it's every 15 minutes 30 minutes only whatever I just keep it manually because I don't really like you know keep this manual as well this one manual as well and push this manual iCloud manual because I don't really, I'm not really a big uh, email person. So, but if you're like working in an office and your emails are important for you, and you think that you should be getting all the notifications if you're receiving any emails, then you can keep this on. But it's your own choice. But this is a big battery drainer. Like it takes battery big in a big way. So if you keep it off, then it's good for you. Then you'll be saving your battery a lot. And then. There's other little thing that you can turn off to keep the battery going a bit longer. Same with the music, you can turn the equalizer off and uh, you'll save a lot of battery. Your Apple Music, I don't want to see that. And uh, that's it to be honest, like uh, this is the main stuff that you need to do in order to save your battery. And... Uh, Thanks for watching this video. If you need uh, any more information about battery saving or any other uh, stuff relating to iPhone, then you can uh, uh, leave your comments below and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching this and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.